Hello and welcome to another league guide for FIFA 21. Today we're going to be looking at the Spanish top flight known as La Liga. So, like always, we're going to begin with the squad rules. In Spain you're only allowed 25 players to be registered. All of these have to be over 21, anyone under 21 does not count towards this total. The 25 man squad has to have 3 goalkeepers who need to wear the numbers 1, 13 and 25. Your 25-man squad can also only have a maximum of 3 non-EU players, so this can be Africans or South Americans or Asians, just anyone not from the EU. South Americans become Spanish after just 2 years, so if you have a player for 2 years, I would say that you can then allocate another slot to a different South American. Under 21 non-EU players also count towards your total, so these should be included in the 25-man squad that you choose. All the players you use outside of your 25 man squad, so your under 21 players, have to wear the numbers 26 to 50. So try and do this if you want to keep it a bit more realistic. Over to the youth academy and scouting section of FIFA, we have 6 nations that have over 10 players playing in Spain at the moment. Of course you've got the Spanish themselves, 394 players in Spain are playing in Spain. But then you've got Argentina with 26, France with 21, Brazil with 20, Portugal with 16 and Uruguay with 14. So scouting any of these nations would be fairly realistic for your youth academy. I would recommend scouting Spain with your best scout and then picking a random two of these other nations which was Argentina, France, Brazil, Portugal and Uruguay just to keep it a bit more realistic and have a better nationality balance to your squad. Speaking of squad balance, I've noticed there's sort of a rating limit based on how good the team is. Teams in the Champions League don't really have a limit, but Europa League seem to be limited to around 85 rated. Mid-table, 83, and relegation level teams are about 80 rated at max. If you can try and keep your signings to these levels, and then obviously progress as you get higher up the leagues, I think you will have a more challenging and realistic save. So, going from the four different tiers of teams that I've arranged La Liga into, you have the better quality teams, so these are Barcelona, Atletico and Real Madrid. Chances are you'll know most of the players in these squad, you'll know how good the likes of Messi and Benzema and Jao Felix can be. Of course Barcelona themselves are having some troubles this year, they're potentially going to lose Messi on a free contract. So if you want to try and rebuild Barcelona, that could be a challenge. Likewise, getting Atletico up that little bit more to be on the exact same level as Barcelona and Real Madrid, another good challenge. Below this level, we have Sociedad and Bilbao, who I've chosen as the more high potential teams in the league. Sociedad have had an amazing start this season so far. They've got the likes of David Silva and Miguel Oziabal, and Bilbao are their rival team, and they've of course got the rule where they can only sign Basque players. This means they can only sign players who are from the Basque region in Spain, there's a little bit of France that also encompasses this. So some of the most notable players who are Basque include Griezmann, Xabi Alonso, Marcos Asensio, Javi Martinez and Lorente. Signing any of these players for a Basque team would be a good improvement to the squad and of course Xabi Alonso would be a fairly realistic manager if you wanted to roleplay with him. If you're more interested in doing a road to glory, you've got Elche CF who have the worst squad in the league and Cadiz CF who have Alvaro Negredo up front who's a fairly well known striker. I mentioned Negredo specifically because it's fairly common for an aging striker to actually power a Spanish team up the league. It's happened in the past with Deportivo and it could happen with Cadiz under your control. If you're into playing on real stadiums then La Liga is perfect for you. Most of the teams in the league have a stadium, as well as six teams in the league below. So you're almost never going to play at the same unlicensed stadium two games in a row, like you would in the likes of the Championship, for example. The teams with stadiums are Getafe, Huesca, Salta Vigo, Betis, Levante, Villarreal, Alaves, Valladolid, Valencia, Granada, Athletic, Real Madrid, Ibar, Sevilla, Sociedad and Atletico Madrid. The obvious notable exclusion on this list is Barcelona, their stadium is specifically licensed to Pez unfortunately. So by this stage you should hopefully have a team with a stadium and a vague knowledge of what level they're at, but now you want to know who you should sign. Most teams in Spain are happy signing Southern European peak age players, so this could be Kovacic, Manolas or bringing Morata back to Spain for example, high potential Spanish speaking South Americans. So any Colombian, Argentinian or Uruguayan you can get your scouts to find, or older Spanish speaking players, 
such as James Rodriguez, Muriel, and oddly Adam Lalana, who has Spanish heritage. Now, you don't get many English players playing in Spain, you have Trippier for example, but Lalana could be good if you've got a team you're not sure on many of the players and you want to do a sort of road to glory with him. So that's a quick overview of Spain. You can see there's some good challenges in there and it's also fully licensed. You've got a lot of stadiums, you've got the full broadcast package and it's fairly easy to get realistic signings. I do like playing in Spain, often I will start in the second division. Last year I had a good save with Deportivo for example, but unfortunately they got relegated to the third division. If that was on FIFA, 100% that would be my challenge for you, but unfortunately only the second division is on FIFA this year. Hopefully in the future they manage to get back to the second division and I can recommend them as the Road to Glory team, but until then hopefully this video helps you find a different team you can use. If you do find a team you want to use after watching this video, please let me know and if you want to update me, feel free to send me it on Twitter or talk about it in the comments, I'd love to hear anything you have to say. If you have any recommendations like Kev the Hulk did for this video in one of my other videos, then please let me know and I will get on it. Next up, I think I'm going to be doing the Holland League, the Eredivisie, so if you have any experience playing with any of those teams, even if it's Ajax, uh, let me know and I will probably include it in my next video. If you like watching this video and you want to see more like it, feel free to drop me a like, that would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.